Hi guys, today we're gonna watch episode 15. I'm so excited. I am like, I don't know why I have like no energy today. Yes, yes. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Bring her on. How, what time did you, did you stay up till last night? Not late, like three, which is actually pretty good for That's me. It's pretty good. I really have the urge just to lie down. Anyways, we're watching episode 15 today. Heard it's good. Spoilers, hard to dodge. Because they came out like this week. Because like, I a saw panel. a spoiler on the Oh, I didn't part. see any of the spoilers from today I though. I saw a certain someone. Who? <laughs> oh, yeah, a certain someone? Uh mm huh. -hmm. My BB? No. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. Which BB? Is it Naraku? No. Is it Koga? No? I hate you! Why are you asking then? Why are you having pauses? Why are you asking then? Anyway! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop asking. I don't know why I'm asking. I don't even exactly. want to Exactly. Anyways, no predictions. Let's just go freaking right into it. Oh yeah, huge thank you to everyone who joined the watch party last night. It was super fun. Um, we watched Cast in the Sky and Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Next week, we're going to be watching Grave of the Fireflies. <laughs> 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 um, and then after, right after, my neighbor Totoro. <laughs> if you guys don't know, we're watching uh, Studio Ghibli movies in order two every week on Friday on the Discord server. You guys can join in the description below. But I'll announce the exact time that we're going to be doing it on Friday or watching it on Friday. So yeah, it was really fun. So thank you to everyone who came out yesterday night, last night. And also, huge thank you to Joker for sending the gift is here. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Literally oh, the only reason why. the thumbnail. I know, it's my BB. It's my BB. Is it an hour long? Is it oh an hour my long? Gosh, you're so loud. Sorry, is it an hour long? Oh, man. Nope. How are they gonna fit all oh, of that? Oh, they didn't even have the the intro thingy here. They just get right into it. Well, that's what they, they no, do. No, they have the intro thing. I know, but I don't know. Of like Toa talking. 18 years ago? 18 years ago? Yeah, see? Demon. Demon. Oh, it's a black one. Oh. So he's the one who got it. Sorry. Oh, in order to make a new black pearl, maybe? Where is this? When is this happening? This is... 18 years ago. 18 years ago. So he's making a duplicate. 18 years ago. So that might be around when the whole thing was happening. Mm -hmm. But like maybe after. Like three years after? If it's 20 years? Three years after? So they did receive it from Riku. But, but why he was he gonna give it? the black pearl to him? Hmm. Root head. So this is like after, right after. <gasps> Baby, he's silly. Oh my oh. god. Doggy's play. <laughs> A shell demon? Oh, but he's like, we don't need it though. Yay! Oh, look at them. 96 years earlier. <laughs> so, so he did make it. He did commission during the whole mission back in the original series. And then he actually made it. They went to him to ask him to make one so they can go to in your dad's grave. But now they don't really need it. So mm -hmm. now they have another. And they got help from Riku. They didn't get help from Riku. Why would Riku want to help make the back? Because he's working weird. <laughs> he's so weird. Wow. Ah, uh, look at my baby. What's your reasoning, Riku? Why are you... Ugh. Wait, 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 him itching his ear. <laughs> like Moroha. Huh? Adamant barrage. Mm. He just changed the subject. <laughs> Aww. So cute. Do it somewhere else, my guy. Do it somewhere oh, else. Oh my Do God. it. See, bro, of course he did on his... <laughs> also, that was the ruins that was I was talking about. Oh. And the thing, yeah, the yeah. ruins. He freaking destroyed the house! <laughs> that looks really familiar in the final act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the freaking cockroach. Yeah, yeah. But then he was being really stupid here and he was yeah. just like, let's just destroy my house. <laughs> oh, I missed this. Wait, wait, I heard these were the original. Tears? Tears? Oh, he wasn't holding the thing. He was holding. <gasps> oh, the music. Her tears were driven into a jewel. So that's how it was made. That's so sad. That's so sad. Ah! Ah! It's canon, guys. It's canon. He really gave it to Kikyo. <laughs> uh, sorry. He put it back in his eye. <laughs> Unless it's an emergency. Okay, Niyasha. No matter what you are, something, 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 something. You don't know how many times I listen to this. It's so good. It's really good. I like this. Me too. Me too. This is my favorite part. 
I like her facial expression there too, like the... It looks good. Crispy. Just burn, burn, burn. Is that the new era thing? <laughs> burn! Copyright 2020, that means this was animated last year. Farewell under the lunar eclipse. Hayaku. <laughs> They're making her Girl, run. she can run. She's 100 years old, man. <gasps> Wait. Aww. Was Maroha birth then? Huh? Wait. This is a month after Roothead. Wait, no, it's not a month after Roothead. Does that make sense? Did I read it right in the beginning? I don't know. Because Rin was still a kid then during Roothead. Oh. I'm so freaking confused. <laughs> Enjoy watching us be dumb and confused for a little bit. And don't worry, we get it afterwards. Wait, go back, go back. Let's just okay, finish this we'll right now. Okay, debunk it right now. It's been a month. What? It's been a month. We just saw Rin, like, during the Roothead thing. Wait, <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Wait, is that translation right? I'm so confused. Wait, so we saw a baby if he didn't... I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we just saw her during Ruhead. I hate that. Is that all she is to freaking you, Moroku's wife? So that wasn't he seen. <gasps> Baby, she is the youngest one. Yeah. Oh. So this isn't the same time that Moroha got separated. Oh, they are bigger. I just realized. Y'all freaking scared me. <laughs> scared me. See, he's always walking. Y'all stress me out. This is a different time. Back here, Kinu and Gyotokuto looks a lot more smaller. But they never said anything here. They never said that time. There was a time skip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you so confused. Okay, so there was a time skip. It has it's like, <laughs> such a mess. But he's always so small. He looks like maybe feel maybe two or three. But bruh. But look how cute he is. She's pregnant here. My in your cag like heart. <laughs> this poor kid. Just carry him. <laughs> dad, he's being dad. Girl, you know what a lunar eclipse is. Oh yeah. Riku is here. So creepy. Sozin's comet. Sozin's comet. Okay, wait. Every 500 years? Does that mean the modern era is gonna get that one too? Oh wait! 500 years across time. Oh wait! <gasps> the destinies are controlled by the few of me. Shout out to the Jew. Okay. Feel fairy tale. In your head. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so maybe the, the modern era is gonna get a comet too. But the, but that's like 20 years after yeah. the 500 years. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> But still, I mean, like, it can't just be 500 shots years. The it's obviously rounded, right? Yeah, it's probably not exactly 500. You're right. I don't know. Sci-fi, just get the freaking girl, Lagan. I'm really sorry. Before we continue, I really think Riku is time traveling. So how does he know this shit? He's holding a, eating a boar now. <gasps> and your dad. This man did everything, I swear to god. Can we see him do everything in a prequel? Oh, see, it was- That looks like the Mato Zangetsuha. So it looks like seven days. And how do you know that? <gasps> Fall into a slumber? <gasps> who wakes him up? To Shomaru? He's at- Okay, so he's the one who's after all the, the half demons. Wow, my theories! My theories! <laughs> I mean, that's kind of obvious. Is this movie theory again? <gasps> You're a dad! Jockin, you're a grandfather. How do you feel? Oh, Jockin doesn't even know who she is. <laughs> so Kinmuru really hates humans. Humility by your father? As someone who uh, was humiliated by your father? Go back. Do you think she she simped for a <laughs> freaking Inuta? However, as someone humiliated by your father, I'd be lying if I said I didn't wish to see your entire family suffer in agony. She was humiliated by Inuta. I love it! She birthed two whole freaking kids. <gasps> so she's the one who named them. I wonder if they knew she was having twins. I wonder if they could. <gasps> smile, smile. I swear to freaking he God, he taps them. I swear to freaking. God. So annoying. He just took the babies away from her. What? And they didn't do anything. <laughs> No explanation at all either. Not even Jockin went. Oh, he has a piece of paper. Just in case. <gasps> Jockin seems so mature now. Oh, what the frick? What? Ew. 
Oh, oh, maybe we'll know. Zero asked me to do this. Oh. So Zero is similar to to Naraku, getting people to do like shit for him. Mm -hmm. So that's why oh, she so was that, angry. And about. then he got the oh. pearls. This is so like convenient. Zero's tears. Bruh. Is this a sacred tree? Jock, Jock and teleported. <laughs> Jock and teleported. Caretaker! <laughs> we knew it! But why? Inuyasha didn't have to do this. This Jokin shall fulfill the role of their caretaker and raise them in freaking Rin's place. Why can't Rin take care of yeah, them? Yeah, Rin can take care of them. Jokin, Jokin! Look at this man! He can put up a whole barrier! He's a fairy! I shall eventually bring Rin here too. Oh, maybe they were planning on sealing them. All of them? All of them together. Look at him! Smile! I don't Smile know. for the camera! <laughs> As expected of Sushomaru. <gasps> Mom! Your dad! I wonder what she has to say. Doesn't look like she's here today. Thank goodness. Oh, man. <gasps> How did you get there? <laughs> Maybe it's like the closest <gasps> place to... To... To, to, to feed the, to, the comet. So then they all just met up. Like, but still, Inuyasha can't fly. Okay, whatever, whatever. I'm not gonna question it. Okay, so they did just end up working together. Inuyasha, did you get upgrades? Can you fly? Oh shit. Mado? Mado? Mado. Zan gets you high! <laughs> I knew it. Easy. Done. Done. Wow, we were really expecting a fight scene. A whole fight. <laughs> You're like, how are they gonna feel like a freaking battle? In the 20 minute episode. <laughs> yeah! I love it when he just jumps on. I wish on. it was a sound effect of him going onto his moko moko. I like how I... There's something more coming. What? <gasps> what if that wakes up Kirin Maru? Kimi no no wa? Ah, kono mama bok tachi no koe ga. Sekai no hashi. And you actually did a freaking lousy ass job cleaning that up. That's all I'm gonna say. Maybe is that, is that, okay. What's your name? What's your name? Kimi no naiwa. Oh no, he didn't wake up that way. Left us a prophecy. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I heard about this prophecy. Oh, so Shamaru really came and was just like. Tashi beauty da da no. Kimi no maru. Oh, that's what he said. Really? <laughs> wait, wait, go back. I'm so confused. Really? I didn't mean anything. Can really? Can you go back? Oh. Wait, what? My god. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh my god. This looks so stupid, right? But I know Sashomaru has deeper meanings. And, like, there's a reason behind all this, obviously, because that's how he is. I doubt he would, like, actually want to kill his. Mm mm. No way. Inuyasha? Kill Inuyasha. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't gonna... read what happened. <laughs> I told you to play it. I, I was drinking water. She has such a booty. But how's killing Inyasha gonna? Because it's a prophecy. Defeat the prophecy. Because the prophecy is that a half demon is gonna kill him. But what about Toa? That isn't. That's why they're gonna kill them first too. But like Inuyasha's obviously grown and powerful. He can actually kill him. I feel like this whole episode could have been paced better. But Moroha's here. Is she not? Yeah, so this is a while after. Okay, so this is really chop- Oh my god, this episode. This is really choppy. They don't tell you how long- how long time has passed. Yeah. Damn. So something must have happened- I'm scared. What happened to Inuyasha? So something must have happened in between the feeding the comet and then this time. To trigger Toshomaru into killing Inuyasha. Maybe Toshomaru pretended that the twins are dead. Like he hid them away in the tree during this time. And he pretended that the twins are dead. And then like- How can you hide that from him? I don't freaking know. Or maybe he made a deal somehow. A deal or something like that. Like, oh, we won't touch the kids if you help us kill Inuyasha. There's no way because the kids- Kids could still kill grow up and kill Kin Maru. But maybe exact. Well, maybe that ha that's where it goes to like the fire where he pretended that they were dead. Like he didn't have, he didn't care that they're gonna die in the fire. I don't know. They still. I guess they're still not saying everything. Yeah, but still... this is something at least. Oh, now it's Kagome's tears. It, re it represented Izayue's tears. Tears, oh! and now it's Kagome's tears. Now it's Kagome's tears. Bruh. Oh, he got the black pearl. He did this again? Oh, he sealed everyone away into the black pearl to save them. Oh, so that they won't have to kill them. So they're just chilling there. Like, so she, he helped them in a way, kind of. I don't know. I'm so. Riku. 
Yeah. You plan all this shit. So it was Koga. Yeah. Koga. Oh, she found them. Who's this? The dream gazing spell. She found them. My brain. <laughs> Are we gonna learn what happened to Satsuna? They're so cute. They're babies. Are we? If I, can we learn more information about this, please? And it's not just the replay, please, please. Who saved her? Who saved her? I swear to God. Okay, but Satsuna, we know this. We're not gonna know. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. <clears throat> He's telling this to Jubei. Who's he telling this story to? Is he breaking the third wall right now? <clears throat> the fourth wall. Fourth wall. Ringo's such a freaking weirdo. So weird. <laughs> Weirdo! He can time travel or something. Something. Come on now, don't be hasty. I can't tell what his intentions are and it's making me so nervous. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's annoying me is that the fight scenes were so lame. Like it was nothing. I think I mean, it's because they had to like make it really fast. fast. This is what I was worried about it being rushed. But then again, okay Riku, I'll listen to you. I won't be so hasty. Okay, we cool. Oh, the girl who sang this? Shout baby from my hero. <gasps> that sounded like the Mario theme. Moroha base story next episode. Wait, Kodoku? You guys know what Kodoku is? Kodoku is when. Oh my god! This is where my big brain comes in. Kodoku is like when there's a lot of demons that are battling each other, and then the one win who wins absorbs the ones who lose, so oh. then they become stronger. But that's what it is. Do you remember the episode? And then Kiku came in and she's like, because Inuyasha was gonna be absorbed if he lost the fight. I don't remember. But she saved him. I don't and remember. It. <laughs> it was an Axel's quiz, and he was like, "What is it called?" I was like, "Kodoku." I freaking know. You have to hand in the sword, so he does have the have the sword. So this she is a flashback. She wanted her sword. Yeah, apparently, um, Moroha's master is a woman. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't know. You threw that child into Kodoku. You got a 50 chance of surviving. Our master people relationship ends today. Oh, she didn't want them to be. I'll have, I'll have you, you hand yeah. over to so him. He had the sword. It was a shock to hear that Moroha got sold off by her master. Okay, she did get sold. Damn. But why is she hang hanging with Kanton in one of the perils? Oh, so she's alive. But why is she hey? Maybe at the end of the day, her master saved her. I feel like this could have been done so much better if it was paced better. But I mean, I, I like enjoyed how it. The, yeah, the, the how sword. this this part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, he's so cool. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's watch the other preview. <laughs> oh, they were going into Kodoku. That's what the tunnel was. I wish I knew the translation. Key. Looks like they were doing a deal. <gasps> So it looks like there were some present moments and some past moments in there. Oh <sighs> my gosh, so much emotions. I don't know. How that was a good episode. That was it's a good just episode. Very fast paced. This episode, Riku had enough of foreshadowing and <laughs> told the audience everything we needed to know. That's so weird, isn't it? Like fourth wall thing. Still not enough information. <laughs> no, it is. A, it is a lot, right? But it's just like it was weird. It was weird. It was weird. Because <laughs> it's like it would make more sense if you like told the kids somehow to help move the plot along. Yeah. But it's just that we know, but they don't know still. Yeah. So it's just like, how is this gonna? Or maybe he told us what they know now. Maybe Kaede told them. But why didn't we just see Kaede telling the story? Why did it have to be Riku? Well, maybe because Riku was there and everything. But it's just like. Yeah. Y'all freaking knew about the prophecy for so long. Like I didn't I didn't really want to know. <laughs> I didn't want to be spoiled about it, but I kind of read a little bit about it in the past, but I wasn't really sure. I kept replaying the part where Kagome touches her belly. I loved how she wanted to tell Inuyasha but was shy. I would love to see his reaction. I don't think Sashi is bad. Like Kohaku said, he's very unpredictable. Yeah. If he would have turned on them, he would have killed Inuyasha. Yeah, I love how both Dishomaru and Inuyasha are able to stand next to each other and not fight like dogs. I was kind of thinking about how it was possible that they got sealed inside of the Black Pearl. But like, I really was like, how is that possible? Mm -hmm. That was like my main thing why I didn't really talk about it because like it's like how is it possible like the black pearl is a part of his eye and then now it came back conveniently it's so weird you know the the right of coward yeah courageness mm -hmm. i think he just said that to them instead of being like telling them straight up what his plan is it's such a so annoying. Thing, i think he's just like we're tough here 
I think the red pearl was made from Kagome's tears. Maybe Kagome's tears gave the Inuyasha. lipstick power. Yeah. I think that's it. I don't believe Sashomaru has turned evil. I think he has a plan and has faith in his daughters. Yeah, that's probably it. I mean, I've been thinking that since the beginning. People really thought that like Sashomaru was bad. I was like, no. I was like, no. <laughs> no. I totally think Sashomaru had something to do with Tatsuna's dream being taken away since Zero found the girls through their dreams. Yeah. Toa's dreams didn't need taken away since she was safe in the modern era. I also wonder if Rin was sealed away for her safety like Kagome and not because she was hurt. Maybe the tree was the only way Sashomaru could do it. And at the same time, it would protect Tatsuna from being discovered through her dreams again. Maybe that's it. Possibly. I can get over this, but why her and not like Ayame and Koga? Hachi, where did you go? This man, he's just there. Oh, look at this baby. Look how happy they are. I think she's just tough on her to make her stronger. I want to see Koga's reaction of <laughs> finding out that that's Kagome's and Inuyasha's daughter. I think it was planned because she called Hachi, so they probably knew. Koga was probably like, oh, she's cute because Kagome, you know? <laughs> I could see that. Instead of like, I think he would love Moroha because of Kagome and like instead of like hating her because of Inuyasha, you know? Probably past that. We got so many answers this episode. Seeing Kagome touch her belly with unborn little Moroha was cute. And then we found out that baby Moroha was taken to Koga and Ayame and the loving looks they gave her was so adorable. I also think that everything Sashomaru did was to protect his family and to keep them safe as best as he could. I'm just so glad Inu Kag were sealed within the Black Pearl and not anything worse happened to them. Hopefully we get to see Inu Gang reunite with their families soon they deserve to be together after all this time. I'm happy that they're sealed together because Ali will be like if they're yeah, separated. No. I'll be so bad. I love this episode. I wanted more. The way Kagome touched her belly. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> and the way her tears landed on the shell. I knew that her tear would become Moroha's pearl. Moroha stole the pearl though, right? From... So it just gave power to her thingy thing. The lipstick. So the rainbow pearls were created from Zero's tears. And your dad forsaken Zero. So maybe she created the rainbow pearls as a gift to Inu dad. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Why? That's just a random thing. I don't think that's true. A gift? It seems like she liked Inu dad. So Kinimaru really is a bad guy here. He hates humans. He probably thought lowly of Inu dad when he went. And when Sashomaru took Tsuna, told him Tsuna, he, man didn't even give an explanation. I know. Rin understood what he did for a reason. It still must have hurt getting your babies taken away after birth. Yeah. But the thing is, the warning came seven days before. So what happened between those seven days? If it was a baby bump, then that means Moroha was taken away maybe eight months or maybe like, not eight months, maybe like seven months, six months. Freaking Jokin. Really raising two twins? Oh my God. Jokin. He probably lost the twins! It would be so funny if <laughs> Toa and Tetsuna like forgot about Jokin. Jokin's like, hey, I- I, I raised you, I raised you. And like, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can totally see that happening. Um, we still don't know why Sashomaru helps Kinimaru. Is that his name? I forgot. Yeah, it's Kinimaru. And how Rin ended up in the tree. I also think Sashomaru isn't betraying Inuyasha and the rest because he put both Inuyasha and Kagome in the pearl when he could have killed them. Wait, Roka wasn't even in this episode. I know. Where was he? He didn't go after Morohan Hachi. I want more backstory though. I guess we'll have to wait. Moroku wasn't in this episode. And is Kinimaru really the demon that he ran away from? I just imagine Jokin raising the twins by himself for the last four years. No wonder the girls were running wild at the time. <laughs> Where was the mom though? Where was she during that time? And maybe I'm just freaking over and analyzing it and they just like didn't have her there for just convenience. Yeah, I think so because I feel like a lot of things might have gone on. It was implied that Jokin that he took care of the twins in the meantime, but Rin will still be there with her girls as soon as possible. It was a temporary se separation. Yeah. The fact that he's with Sashomaru and Kin Maru when Moroha was born and Yuka gets sealed means Rin was already with the babies. Realizing how Angela's theories of the OG gang is in this case, Inukag being inside- I mean everyone kind of, right? Yeah. I feel like everyone kind of theorized that the gang was uh, sealed in the yeah. house. After the fire, I think Satsuna can't dream because Shomaru did something that made Satsuna not dream to protect her because in episode 15, Zero mentioned she fully found the twins because of their dreams. Yeah. By doing so, Zero or Kinimaru cannot find her and that's how she survived living in the feudal era. But where did she hide after? 
So I was saying, it seems like he was hidden somewhere after, obviously. But then what happened to Jokin, right? I think Sushomaru's actions was to protect everyone. Yeah, of course. Riku is totally sus. Yeah, he's freaking weird. Weird. <laughs> he seemed to plan everything by helping Hosenki with the oh Hosenki with the black pearl. And he is either full demon or half demon because he said 18 years is nothing for him. Still, so many questions. Next Saturday, please come sooner. Riku. Riku knows the perils. I'm trying to theorize. I feel like there's so much information I can go off of. Wow, Sushomaru. Good guy, Sushomaru. What the heck? Family. He said family. He said he loves family. Oh, Jen. I knew it. They were inside the Black Pearl in order to protect them. So everyone stop calling my dude Sushomaru a bad boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> Bro, I knew he was a good boy since the beginning. Y'all yeah. who are saying he's a bad boy. Because <laughs> character development, there's no way. It's so freaking sweet that Koga and Ayame took care of Maroha or probably gave her to the master since the master didn't have kids or couldn't have kids. So they decided to let her raise Maroha, but her gambling caused them to banish her. And she probably stole Maroha and banished. Well, I saw on Twitter that someone said that this whole soul thingy, apparently the translations were weird and it should have been like that the debt was only passed down to her instead of being sold. But I don't know. Mr. Riku broke the fourth wall just to piss me off and not spill the entire tea. That little fishing scene at the end killed me, bro. Not everyone here is a demon that has a lifespan of a thousand years. We need answers now, right? Mm-hmm. Kenny, you're right. I wonder if Sushama told Inuyasha and Kagome about his plan. Nope, probably not. To seal them in the Black Pearl because when they sent- Well, yeah. It was almost as if they were told that they were coming. So maybe either Sushomaru or Jockey informed them a few hours before Sushomaru and Kinimuru confronted them. Maybe it was on that piece of paper. Yeah, the, the piece of paper but no. that gave. But no, if you think about- That was about the the comet. Oh. This thing with Kinimuru, Sushomaru, Inuyasha, and Kagome happened maybe seven, six months after. Huh, I'll have a lot of fun theorizing. It's just hard to theorize because I don't read the summaries ahead of time mm -hmm. so like a lot of my stuff could be debunked already and it, it hurts my soul and wow Satsuna and Toa are eight months older than Maroha is so like seven eight months older than Maroha man I really thought Maroha was gonna be the oldest such so did everyone at the end yeah I really thought Maroha was the older does Zero know that they're still alive like in the present time like right now yeah I don't think so yet unless Riku told her Riku's so sus I know. What do you freaking so want? Weird. Like, who are you? What if he's like the mastermind? Like, he maybe he, he's manipulating the whole situation for his own gain. Hmm. I can't. My brain. Okay. I think that's all for. Oh wait, memes. You want to see memes, right? Yeah. Help them. Save them. Who me? No way. <laughs> it's just so weird how they just went there. They were supposed to fight, and then they just like walked off like buddy yeah. buddy. Like, okay. It's just so awkward to me. Tell me, Sashomaru. Have you someone to protect? I, Sushomaru, have no need for such. I love those memes because Sushomaru is a clown. <laughs> My favorite clown, King of Clowns. You help them. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? No, no, no. I translated what he was saying internally. I don't feel like explaining myself to you. You already know I don't speak much, so leave, leave me, me alone. alone. It's a real <laughs> crazy challenge. Yeah! See, that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> this is one of my favorite scenes. Rin's trust in Jockin. Master Jockin. Leave the rest of me. He's a grandpa! He's a grandpa! That's why I love that scene. I actually really love that scene. <laughs> like, he's so gentle with her now. Before he'd be like, stupid child. And now he's just like, I know. Give it to me. <laughs> no. I got you. See, they already knew the plan. I feel like they already knew. And then obviously she's sad that her babies are gone. I would like to thank Jockin for being the girl's caretaker. Jockin, you did an amazing job. The girls look clean, healthy, happy, extremely polite. You did amazing. Who would have known? <laughs> Who would have known? Who would have known? That means Rin was there though. He Jockin was like, oh, like, well, I'll bring Rin here soon. I believe in Papa's supremacy. Don't talk to me. I'm soft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? What if hap something happened to Jockey in the fire? You better oh not. You better not. You better not. You better not. You better <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Why are you refuse. liking the tweet then? I'm liking. I'm not. I'm not feeding into You're gonna this. manifest it. I'm not manifesting like this. No. I really think it's his mom. <laughs> like after the fire, she stayed with her mom because she was hiding somewhere. And I feel like the mom would be strong enough to hide her. I feel like you should say granny now because oh, yeah. it, can, it can make people confused. Sorry, I meant to jump from his mom as in <gasps> granny, granny. No, 
Sorry, that reminds me of Kohaku. <laughs> yeah, everyone calls her Inukimi. When both Inukimi and Sashomaru can't stand each other, just mind their own business, like Mother like Son. I really think so. She definitely has a part. Please, please. I still think so. Watch my theory. Watch my theory. Could be wrong, but I have my theory that she raised her. Koga. Look at those legs. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is how you introduce Kagome. Yeah! Riku, you- He know. He really broke the fourth wall. The legendary priestess who made the right wish and purified the Shikon jewel. Riku, the only one in the show who actually introduces her properly. Versus Miyoga! <laughs> Miyoga! <laughs> the reincarnation of the priestess who took care of the jewel. Blah, 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 blah. Riku at the end literally laughed at our faces and called us a bunch of clowns. He wished. <laughs> oh my god, I feel- Like, I feel- Offended by him right now. Wow, number three worldwide versus Japan trends. So Shomu Sama is also trending. Me thanking Sunrise for all the answers and appearances today. But I mean, I'm happy. I'm really, really, really happy we got answers. But I feel like it was just odd the way it happened, right? Mm -hmm. How Riku was just breaking the third wall. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm thankful that we know. Oh, wait. The what? girl who adores Shomaru and then it's Shomaru. Like, oh, I didn't even notice! I didn't even notice because I, didn't even notice cause I was screaming because oh, of wow. freaking Jack. They, they got married. Yo, I can't believe we really thought it was a month. Wait, wait, wait. And then we got so confused. <laughs> we were just like, what the frick? Yeah, it was so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage and parenthood look so damn good on Shomaru. <laughs> wow! Look at that! But hey, people said that in the final... In the original series, the original when, series his, his, arm, when his arm got cut off that he could see his muscles. No, it was because he got the human arm from from Naraku and then it was like coming off and it was burning off because it was eating away at his flesh. Oh. And then like he could see his arm and like he's like... In the final acts, it was a little thinner. But it's so funny, it's because like here, you don't have to draw because it's covered by his kimono, like his outfit. But they just did. But they just had to, like whoever drew this, like you fed like everyone's like... Like happiness there. But yeah, I think that's all we're gonna go for today. And Yash and Kogome trusted Koga and Ayame to raise the most important person to them. I wonder why them and not Moroku and Sango. So maybe Moroku and Sango like were like something was going on with their own shit. Even though Sango has her own whole family, she would gladly raise Moroha for them. No, it's just that there is someone that is looking for Moroha. So it's a matter of who will keep her safe during that time. That's true. Because Moroku wouldn't be able to. I mean, maybe Sango, but and but then, then that endangers her family yeah, too. Yeah, that endangers yeah, her you're family. Right. Exactly. You're right. You're right. Interesting. Our poor baby. A zero get rejected by Toga. See? That's what I'm saying. However, has someone humiliated by your father? I'd be lying if I said I didn't wish you to see your entire family suffer next. Anyways. That's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I literally said this like again and I kept scrolling through Wait, Twitter. Wait, Hanyo Baby oh Daddies. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh, yeah. Hanyo Baby Daddies. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I need it sweet. Help me. Oh, Mayo. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, wait. Wait, what's this? We have to go. <laughs> we have to finish this video! The movies are just too good! Look at Kagome's face. She's Inuyasha's number one fan. So precious. I love them! I know! <laughs> when he came back, she was so happy for him. Did, did you remember that scene? When I wanna watch it again! 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 He's like cheering him on! So cute! They're so cute! <laughs> <laughs> I want to see, wait, I want to see like, I want to see like her, okay, I know everyone's like, oh, we have to see her pregnant and everything, we have to see her pregnant and him like, like a filler episode or something, of him just like, like a funny episode, I miss funny, I miss yeah, the comedy know, so know, much, I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm so cute, <laughs> bring her on. <laughs> Jockin's like, what are you saying? It was all my lord. Oh, so cute. How wholesome is that? I wanna cry. <laughs> I wanna cry. Stop. <laughs> You're troubling. <laughs> I wanna cry. is my, it's how it was always been my ship. I'm sorry to the Seshwin people, but Inukag was always my ship. I mean, also Morocco and Songo, but like, Inukag. <laughs> Yo, I wanted to finish
tears just have video. I'm sorry. So I can cry in peace. Dude, my cheeks hurt from smiling, smiling so much. <laughs> Holy. Okay. Stop, or else your eyelashes will fall off. Are we done? We're done. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, oh my god, I have to stop. <laughs> I have to stop. Okay, we're gonna end this now. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll have a theory video and opening and ending analysis coming really soon. I really have to finish the opening and ending analysis. But the theories I feel like that can come from this is so fun. Check out my past theories, check out my other reactions. And you guys should totally hang out with us in our Studio Ghibli watch party every Friday this weekend. I already explained it, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you guys for hanging out on Discord and like just interacting on Twitter. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this episode. Let me know in the comments below any theories that you guys have. And like, I like to implement you guys' theories in my videos too and like add on to them. I think that's all for today. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!